Mrs. Emery, do you have any intention of cleaning up this mess? This is not how civilized people live. Tell me about it, Mrs. Wendell. Some of us are just about fed up. <laughs> What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, man. Subscriber died trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you saw that clip. Uh, as you see the title, Confronting White Rage. Now, it could be other races, but I'm just using it because of the clip. Um, but in my lifetime, I've seen this a lot. Not as I get older, not so much because people are old and they can't be in your face like that. But this idea that let me let me rewind this. A reason why people people assume that black people are afraid of white people is because of their rage. It's not their rage we're afraid of because if we go face to face, you know, mano a mano with a person, there's really no fear in, in us with that. But it's that, oh, you thought that because you were white and I was black, I'm going to hold back while you get to go to the extreme. And no, that's not what's about to happen. I'm about to go as far left as you thought you would. You know, and when you when when dealing with white people, when they, they realize you're not going to govern yourself to being as let's just say low down like i'm not good if you go low i'm not gonna go high that's not what's gonna happen and we've, we've watched it from kids you know i played the sports in little league and the white coaches to teach the white kids to do you know do dirty stuff you know try to break your arms and legs and ankles and grab on your privates and and they sit there like yeah and then when you sock one of these boys then oh what the, here's it out no more and it's like i'm gonna see you in the parking lot too because i know you taught that but then it's this idea well you know i got a buddy who's a lawyer and i got a cop friend and we're gonna all just conspire like gang members to break the law you know and use the law now whiteness and i'll favor it you're gonna you fear that don't you we'll show up to your house it's like okay I come from a from the neck of the woods where um, badges weren't exempt from getting hands put on them, feet, and everything else. So I had to learn. I learned that early, like the idea that um, be, you were going to govern yourself. Like this person could be as disrespectful as possible, but it's supposed to be this magical barrier that you know you're black and I'm not. So you got to treat me with kid gloves while I get to have the gloves off. Stop it. When you confront that that rage, you wind up with a lot of people punking out. You know what I'm saying? So, and the issue becomes, um, how can I say this? The issue really becomes at the end of the day, we don't have a problem confronting people. What we have a problem is, is the aftermath of confronting these people. And what I mean is, you can confront this, like the lady, you know, screaming in the house with a knife, like she was gonna do something. Kind of like, it's kind of like when you're a child and you and you wanna go off on your parents, and then your parents go, what? And you go, hmm, nothing, nothing. 
I didn't say nothing. It's it's that whole thing. But what it morphs into is a person like the lady in this clip, since I can't get the adult, I'm going to get the child or I'm going to get the first black, you know, person who's unsuspecting that I see and, and they'll never see it coming. Like I'm getting back at you by, you know, doing something to a kid or elderly person or, you know, a handicapped person. It's just like we kind of govern ourselves because of that. You get what I'm saying? And these other groups go, oh, no, no, that's not what we do. Yeah, that is what you do. That's 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 what you do. You you would try to attack an adult, and if and when it doesn't work, well, you know what I'm saying. I saw a black kid riding a bike down the street, so this is my shot. You know. You got you got to think about it. Um, and I'm gonna go and I'm and I'm gonna use this as a reference. Y'all remember when Tamir Rice got killed by that cop, and. The guy called on the phone. He's like, it's a kid in the park playing with a gun. But I think it's a toy, though. But I think but he's playing with a gun. And it's like, you you know, set up number one. Then the officer comes, they ride on the curve, and they shoot the kid and, and set up number two because the guy who called could have been was like, hmm, I know how far this could go. But, you know, I'm I'm in the clear. And the cop that ran on the scene and shot shot the kid was, I know how far I could take it, and because I ain't going to jail. And you don't ask what situation have they been in with a black person recently or in, a, in the last year or two that they're holding this animosity because for some odd reason, and it's just a general thing when I say this, um, disrespectful scumbags hold grudges for a very long time because. They they feel like they're entitled to 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 disrespecting somebody or a certain type of person or certain certain group. Kind of like it's not, you can make it a race thing. I can make it a class thing. Like um, when somebody thinks somebody can't afford something, right? And they treat them like trash because uh, and this person probably could. They just don't look the part that day. You know, but you don't, not even having a conversation with them to hear them, you, you should tell this person is probably a little bit sharper than you gave them. But hey, I'm gonna keep disrespecting you. And then when when you have a situation where a person like that shows you up, all of a sudden, the next person that you feel fits the description, you know, they gonna have hell to pay because I couldn't get this person, so I'm gonna get another person. It's it's all confronting the the rage. You know it leads to cowardly actions towards other people. And that's why you see sometimes like black, like some of our black people, we get confused because people will do stuff and they'll go off the rails and we're like, what the, where is this coming from? And it doesn't dawn on us at the moment. Like, oh, okay. I'm the person that you think you're going to get away with this with. And sometimes you double down and you, you couldn't get the, that first person, and then you go off on the second person, and the second person smacks fire out of you too, and then it's like, ah, ah. it's like, okay. So for me, I don't have a problem with confrontation, but whatever. Uh, but I know I've seen that before when you confront white rage, how, you know, for one, they'll get on cold, you know, and, and do all kinds of dastardly stuff. And for two, they'll figure out somebody else to get, you know, some of your favorite teachers and, you know, lawyers, preachers, you know, you got a dirty little secret. I remember they had the the story of the guy who said he was a firefighter and he's haunted because he was going, he was fighting a fire and it was some black people in the house. And he watched him burn because he wouldn't help him because he was racist. And now he's living the rest. Now he's older. It's haunting him. And it's like that was his moment that I, he could take it out. Like I could take it. Yes, I finally got. Yes, I'm getting back. And it's like okay. And these we got to watch out for these people. Like when I say white rage, let me let me say this. Years ago, I was going to work, and I got pulled over going to work traffic stop it wasn't nothing at all really 
Uh, he was looking for something, but the cop was a fat Hispanic cop. And he, he looks at me and he asked me for my ID. And then he was like, I almost shot you. I'm gonna blew you away. And he's, I'm just looking at him like, well, I mean, you shoot me in my uniform, I can guarantee you're going to have some charges. You know, but at the time, I could tell he was, like I said, morbidly obese, out of shape. You, I could look in his face and see the anger and hatred, and it's just like I was the best target he got, you know. And I've seen that time and time again. I've had other experiences like that, but I'm saying that to say you can see the rage in people's faces, you know, in their, in their eyes that they, they are looking for a victim. Like when I was younger and I was a kid, I, was, I could see that in, in cops' faces like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, okay, you got beat up by somebody. You got smacked around at the office and now I'm supposed to be prime suspect number one that you can take your frustrations out on. I get it. It ain't gonna happen, but whatever. You know, and by the way, I've, I've, I've speaking of that, I have I had to tell a few, few people in, in, in uniform over time, hey man, you, I'm not gonna hold back. You, you trying to take it there? This ain't gonna end well for you, and 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 that's what will back them off. But I'm done. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna tell you.